Now we get to explore the hotel. We got a lot of charges. Um, have... Alright, go on. I need more batteries. That? No, that's not blood. Why is Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, man. I'm almost out of these. Oh, I'm out of them. Can't get in that room. I mean, this is a pretty swanky hotel. Oh, good. I need health stuff, though. Oh. I'll just put this, uh, we're gonna quick slot this to two. There we go. <coughs> quick slot this to... <coughs> oh my gosh. Ugh. Alright. Sorry for the sneezing. I was doing a little cleaning, so, you know, dust getting tossed up everywhere. Ooh. The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something terrible would happen there. Well, there's blood on it. All right, I have to go to the plot board, I guess. The plot board was empty again. I didn't I do a new draft. I didn't back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. All right, all right, fine. I gotta go back. I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Yeah, the key. Um. Alright, this is the entrance. Yeah, I have to use the plot board here. Cult. A for forbidden play brought to life. An unforgettable immersive theater experience. See it live in Ocean View Hotel. I like it. Alright. Alright, I've already been in here. Snacks. What do we got? Daily locos. Eh. No. Layers upon layers. A play about a murder cult infiltrated by a real murder cult. Everyone is invited to the pre show ritual and the ballroom. Oof. Well, where is the ballroom? Ah, mad. I didn't have the key. All right, now I can look at the map. All right, I'm here, locked, locked. Is there anything here? No, this is all blocked up. The 
plot changes shape the world around me. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. These props are later used in the following claim. Oh god. Sometimes I don't know if they're gonna pop out at me or not, but uh what's this? What are these symbols? I think I need to I needed to find the key. All right, so I need to get to 225, but how do I get upstairs? This is all blocked off. Also, oops. What is this? Ooh, an echo. All right, hold on. I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. Oh. But it said here. Oh, final scene. Here we go. Oh, but it's still blocked off. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little confused. So. Like, how do I, uh, get upstairs? What am I missing? elevator. That might help. here before? Didn't I come up in this way? I don't know. Oh. Oh. I think this is how I came in. Yeah, because that's the... Alright, so... Alright, but I, why is there a question mark there? Like, there's something here for me to get. Or interact with. Or is it just that? ever get that word of power? I don't know. I don't think I did. Oh, oh no, this is the way I came in, I think.
It's, uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, right there. Aha. Okay. Word of gun. 10%. Ooh. We're just going to do that one. Because why not? Words of lamp. Ooh. I like this one. Yep. Yep. Alright, I can go back in now. I think they, they took it off the map, right? No, there's still something here. What the heck is that? Well now, oh, I'm in the hotel. Six, six, five. Oh yeah, 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 this is how we went in here. in Zane's room, but oh, there's an investigation down here? Hold on a second. Okay, never mind. I'm just getting a little turned around as usual. So let's change this. The scene here had changed. I wonder if that changes anything upstairs. Probably not, but I gotta do something with the scenes changing. Symbols. All right. Um. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. It's because I spin too much. I get discombobulated. Why is it showing me over here? And not actually in the hotel. This is weird. Let's, uh. What was I doing? Hey, Mar. Um. Hey, Matt Nui. Oh, God, all these people popping. Popping in while I was AFK dealing with drama. Um, okay, where am I going? Back down. Hey, the game says that. <laughs> what, what, weren't there characters in this game saying that? 
The game is a bad influence on my language, and I already have a, a sailor mouth. <laughs> what? I'm running out of freaking batteries. <laughs> I don't think it has. <laughs> Listen, it's a stress relief just to be able to blurt it out. Blurt out all the profanities. Um... Hmm. I do. I do. I can't get in. All right. I'm missing something. I think she did. I'm pretty sure she does. I don't blame him, man. I'd be cussing like crazy in this situation too. I mean, I'm playing the game and I'm cussing like crazy. All right. What is this? Come on. I gotta be able to get in somewhere. Oh. Oh shit! There's a key right here. <laughs> the troop are busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. Oh my god. Alright, so what key is this? I needed to find the key. This 104? Which room is 104? Back here. Ten Smarmy's plan. <laughs> oh shit. Come on, batteries. Is it all green? Um, what? I'm at the- wait, I'm on the second floor now! How the hell did that happen? Alright, well, oh shit. Ugh! Oh, 
fuck. Or <laughs> There's stuff in here. Yes. Though I do like finding like bullets and shit in suitcases. Like people who are visiting, they're just bringing their uh, bringing all of their supplies in case uh, something happens at the hotel. I guess. Inventory full! No! Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, that's right, I still have this, uh, what is this? Shot <gasps> shotgun ammo! Well, shit! I should be using the shotgun. I gotta go clear my, uh, bag out. Hold on. Don't walk on the freaking. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, where's where where's the um shoebox? Alright. So we're gonna move that there. Move these here. And uh Yeah, we're good. Man. It, it, oh, come on! Be running out of freaking batteries again. All right, where was that? Uh, over here. No, over here. Yeah, it was somewhere. Yeah, here. I need more inventory space. I feel like I must have missed a thing for my bag. Like, uh, lots. I'm gonna leave that right there. A special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Sometimes a quaint small town, sometimes a hulking metropolis. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, like a half-remembered echo of a fading dream, always familiar to us. These are the stories that take place there. War inspiring, macabre, terrifying, heartbreaking, nail-biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A haunting new season of mind-bending episodes written by Alan Wake. I am your host, Warland Dorr, and I will see you soon in... Night Spring. Okay. You said there was something on the bed? What's this? On this bed? I don't see nothing. On this other bed? There's nothing on the bed. Oh, it's 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 not one you can interact with. Oh, here's another chest. I'm gonna hold off. That the heck? Uh, why is it telling me to go in here? I can't move that. 
This is not another, uh... Alright, so... Container, container, container... I know, I'm holding it. Because I have no more room. This is where they gathered before the play. This is where it began. Or maybe it's empty. Another vision. Another idea. Hmm. Why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying? It, it seemed like it was part of the play. But it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy, kid. A haunted hotel. Yes. That's a trope for a reason. <laughs> it's a trope for a reason. Oh, yeah. Alright, so... Let's see. Oh! Come through the door. Come on. Ow. Or did he hit me? No. Ow! He hit me there! Oh god! Out of batteries. Shit. I gotta go find a 
find that other room with all my stuffs. So that's why I was leaving those containers. So I can go loot. There we go. Ah, I never use the flare. I don't know what this is. See, empty. <laughs> Dang it. I just wasted it. All right. <sighs> Scene rehearsal room. Let's go back to the rehearsal room and um do a couple other things. I don't mean use it now. Alright. We have haunted. Did we have uh Oh yeah, we did the re ritual, right? Yeah, we did. You have to get into the ballroom. I'm sure as hell gonna try and stop this story. stage of a key scene in the play. You know, he he doesn't have to say that steep the scene has changed every time I say change the scene. <laughs> the cult in the play was called the Cult of the Tree. With their deer masks, they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror. One key. It's a quick save. my writer's room on the stage. I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. Mm. Nice, set. nice set you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him. And he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And Scratch? who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess, Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. 
Oh boy, I don't like this plot development. <laughs> Gotta deal with this. Oh my god. <sighs> All right. All right. So I I gotta get myself set up for this. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just gonna use a flash grenade horn. Let's see. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use my flash grenade. Let's see, rehearsal room, move to room 202. Remember, hit your marks, keep your masks on, and make it weird. my writer's room on the stage. Oh. I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. Your word of power. Let's see. Word of stuff. Marks all nearby resources and points of interest on Wake's map. Yes! <laughs> Wait. No! <laughs> Expands Alan's inventory by one bow! No, these are all good. Another charge of the flashlight. I can't choose. I want the tourist map, right? Because it's going to tell me where to go. But I need more freaking room in my inventory. Oh, I can't decide. <laughs> no map for me. Shit. I think you're right. I got to go with expanding the inventory. Maybe I'll get another one of these later. <laughs> Shit. Hey, I will see it again. <sighs> Make will save. <laughs> really? Just skip this. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality. Well, nope. God. I said you got here. Damn it. All right, fine. I gotta watch What was the scene in this room? 
Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. Aw, oh, man! I was, like, trying to get myself set up. Now I gotta do this again. Shit, I gotta watch the whole thing. I said you got here. Fine. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess. Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. Old. I gotta go get this though. Did I not get it? Oh, yeah, I did get it before. Never mind. Then I saved, right? Oh, look at all that extra beautiful room. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright, but now we gotta do this. Hold on. I should go save. <laughs> go save. I'll just quick save. What? There's more of them? Come on. Oh, fucker. Come on. I have to change the scene! Fuck. I'm gonna go up here and change it. Maybe I got some time. Come on. Alright, here we go. Did that change anything? His room, he will hurt her. What? Oh my god. Forget. It's blood writing all over. Oh my god. Alright, I'm safe here though. Oh, I could have changed it in here. Just change it to pre-show ritual. Maybe I'll be all right there. Oh no, they're still there. Fuck. All right. Uh, I'll 
let's go get that stuff that I love. if I need to. But I gotta get... I gotta get downstairs. Ooh, maybe I should use the devil in the rehearsal room. Let's see what happens. was killing these guys this was not the ritual murder site I was looking for this had just been an appetizer before the main course did I get everything oh hold on I actually have that a key to a room downstairs so Oh, wait, I had to, I got first floor, so I've got to go back and through that room, and then I can, I can get back to the first floor. Not that it'll stop him, but... Maybe in here. Yeah, there we go. I, I, yeah, you and me both. I don't know. It's like he gets he, like the one that we see in the TV is like frantic and like um, I don't know. Maybe Alan is schizophrenic. <laughs> Maybe he's got some mental problems. I don't know. Did, why did I even come in here other than... I mean, there's nothing else in here, was there? Alright, well there's something to investigate in the reception. Oh, also I still need to get to... What is this echo? Alright. 
<laughs> we got a few things since since the last time we were here. So, um, entrance hall. We didn't try haunted, did we? Well, it's clear to me that Scratch has some measure of control over Alan, I think. Alright, that's not it. It's over here. to do this one. This was the devil's plan if the staircase was draped in blood. Shit! I, I used one of the wait. I don't even think I have any more. No, I used the flare to to basically get out of being pinned down. Because I used it. I used it to get out of being pinned down, and it worked. All right. We'll save. Well, I don't have any more. I don't even think I have any more in the box. Let's see. See, I don't even have any in here. Oh. I should heal up. Oh, wow. I got a shit ton of, uh, batteries. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Alright, I should heal, so... All right, whatever. Let's,
There is a an echo up here somewhere. There it is. I did get to the good vantage point though. I felt the presence of a new idea here. Whoa, Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception and got me a room number. Hmm. 666. He had requested that room, specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Hmm. Guess I know where we're going. Oh, this is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Scratch had been there. I could sense his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. Let's talk, okay. Let's talk, okay. Let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Well, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108. Where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He had only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Oh boy. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I hope I don't die. Oh, God. Shit. Get away. Get away. Ah, shit. Where do I go? Oh. Dead. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't know where to go. Oh, I have to do this again. You need the name of the interior decorator. <laughs> Shit. All right, just come on. Let's just start where he runs. I don't have to watch the thing over again. Not you again. Oh, good. All right. So we're just gonna. I guess. Get the fuck away from me! I had to reach the light of hand to hide from the devil presence. Woo! I made it. I made it. Ha! 
The dark presence had come for me, drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. Wait, what? Oh, Tim it opened. the murder victim. The final scene took place in room 108. Oh. All right, 108. I have no flares. Stop with the flares already. Where is 108? Murder site. All right, I have to get All right, I have to get over there. He might. He ne might need him to be able to reach the other. I'm, oh, I'm assuming he needs him to be able to reach the other side. Entrance hall, ballroom, final scene. Alright, did we try haunted on that? I don't think we did. The story was affecting the scene. I needed to find the muse, the murder victim, room 108. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I thought it was Sweet Baby Ray's too. The drowned lady? Oh, this is lovely. Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflected in motion in his room. He will hurt her. In her, he is... He is caught. His story ends. Her story... Oh, this is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet. Okay. Enough of that. Oh, there we go. His, stor his story ends. Her story does not. This is the ritual you lead on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Okay. That means. This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub. Beneath the body. Somehow it was important. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You helped me get closer to escaping. Wait. Are we right. still trapped? We have the clicker. We can figure out what You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. 
I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that, You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. <sighs> yeah, I don't think he, uh... Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, this is all... different now. Well... I need to get to a, s a save. Uh, I would if I could actually switch, but there's no puddle. Oh, we're gonna get to the hotel- or to the apartment. And then, uh, see what happens there, because I only got about... God. I really need to update my, um, graphics drivers. But they, they freaking are bugged right now. It's like... Parliament Tower was here, again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Now, oh, maybe I can swap here. is definitely crazy. <sighs> Forgot where I was. What was I supposed to do? Hmm. Oh, I have to go to the wellness center, I think. Go to the Valhalla nursing home. Ah, it's over here. Alright. Yes. Oh, shit. Bullets to these dogs take a lot. You know what? I'ma just run. Ouch. They are dogs.
man. Went the wrong way. Oh, I gotta go past the freaking wolves. Oh, shush. Odin claimed to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. What is up with this Mayor Setter? Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. I know. I feel like there's got to be something to them. Maybe. It's a little late for visitors, you know. I was just getting them. Oh. Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. What? I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay <laughs> if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. <laughs> Not well, smart to be outside when the sun goes down. If it's wrong that you're attracted to Rose, then it's wrong that I'm attracted to Leon S. Kennedy. <laughs> So it's not wrong. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? You are strong, you are successful, you are confident. Saga, this way. Go ahead, I'm, I'm snooping. Be my light in the darkness, Rose. Wake up. Alan Wake's crime novels have become the sensation of the nation. Join us as we flip through the pages of the man behind the books. Folks magazine. How has your life changed since your books became so popular, Alan? I have to do a lot more magazine interviews. Other than that, it's not so different. FM. You are hilarious. I can see why you're a writer. So, what do you do to get to get your creative juices flowing. Alan, writing is a very solitary journey. When I'm working, I like to be alone in a room with my manuscript. There I can wrestle with the story, get inside the heads of my characters. FM, sounds exhausting, and yet you find plenty of energy to party, right? Word on the street is you've been out enjoying the New York nightlife. Any favorite spots? Alan, I'd prefer if we focus on my writing. FM, definitely. Although I'm sure our readers would love to know where they can find New York's hottest writer on a Saturday night. Are you working on a new book? Alan, yes, on some level I'm always working on the next story. Right now I'm looking into something different, a departure from what people would expect. Something new. FM, be careful with that. People don't always like new. So what role does the beautiful Alice Wake play in your work? Is she your muse? 
Alan. Alice keeps, keeps me stable. She's my an anchor, stopping the waves from carrying me too far out to sea. Alan Wake, the bad boy of fiction. Okay, we'll come back and read these later. I have a feeling I'm going to be exploring this place. Oh, thought I'd lost you. Here's some of our residents, oh, yeah. or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. <laughs> Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Tor and Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Ati, this is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs, but your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. <laughs> I've learned that old people just don't give a shit anymore. They're gonna say whatever's on their mind. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. <coughs> Ugh. I thought I would have a wonderful performance this afternoon. Yeah, it's definitely You're made by um, Norse people. All right. Oh my god! Stop sneezing! Alright, let's finish reading this. Okay. Alan Wake, the bad boy of fiction. Best-selling author sets a feisty new tone for writers. Alan Wake is an author best known for his Alex Casey books, a series of thrilling novels that reinvigorated the crime genre. But Wake isn't just known for his literary works. He's also famous among New York's most, most exclusive clubs as a late-night party animal. This author is redefining what it means to be a writer. Gone are the days of isolated figures hunching over typewriters in dark rooms. Wake is a man who hits the town in style, a regular at the hottest spots in the city, happy to see and be seen. The people and the paparazzi can't get enough of them. But it's not just his social calendar that makes this writer stand out from his peers. Artists are famous for their tempers, but Wakes is in a completely different orbit. Damaging property, giving photographers black eyes, avoiding lawsuits. This writer is a train full of rage, and you better get off the tracks. Like a punk rocker, Wake is grabbing musty old stereotypes and smashing them to pieces. This is one rebel to keep an eye out for. Oh boy. Where is Alan Wake? Mystery writer mysteriously disappears. The best-selling author known for his Alex Casey novels has been reported missing in the town of Bright Falls, Washington. Mr. Wake's wife, Alice Wake, has not given any comments on the case, but is confirmed to have been the one to report her, hu her husband's disappearance to the authorities. The, the mystery surrounding the novelist's disappearance don't stop there. Other individuals from the town were reported missing within a similar time frame. It is unclear whether these disappearances are connected. Wake's literary agent, Barry Wheeler, has indicated he has no information to provide, despite having been seen with Mr. Wake in Bright Falls just before the author's disappearance. The writer, Alan Wake, has a history of violence toward the press and is rumored to have struggled with addiction. 
the story will be up, will be updated as it unfolds. All right. Well, that's uh yeah. Um, I was wondering if you could help me logging etern internally. Well, we'll serve you pancakes. You're all my. You were my muse all along, Rose. Naughty Alan. Oh my God. <laughs> She's totally hot for him. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my God. I love it. Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Tor had abandoned everything. <laughs> A lot. Or maybe she found another one. Ooh, salt and vinegar chips. Mm -mm. Sounds good right about now. <laughs> okay, I can't help it, okay? I love Liana's Kennedy. <laughs> He was my first husband, though. I will, I will not lie. All right, let's see here. You said I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. <laughs> no, Leon's not a bro. He's definitely not a bro. Not a bad boy, either. Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh... You mean the little bump on his noggin? Uh, it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. Uh, barely even touching the chair. Hello there. Saga Anderson. Why, well, Pazin, name won't make the man worse. Even a Swedish name. I'm Arti. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old gods of Asgard. My pals, the Berkele Vikings. Berkele. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can't know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Were you in the band? Minak? No, no. Berkele satana en olven. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But, uh, we have shared a stage or two. <laughs> Why is he cursing in Finnish? I don't know. Oh, nine's a minute. The lazy man gets sweaty when he eats. And he gets silly when he works. <laughs> Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. What's in the wellness center? Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round-the-clock care. To stay young, stay limber. Yeah, she does have stuff on the case board. Okay. Torin Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead.
Okay. What happened to Tor? I heard yelling before the call was cut off. Uh, maybe Odin can tell me what happened to Tor. Rose isn't being helpful, but they must be around here somewhere. Cult of the Tree stuff. Oh, what the heck? Put this. Elmo Cuscala attacked Wake while wearing a deer mask. <sighs> Saw him with my own two eyes. No doubt Ilmo is in the cult, but what about Yaku? I'll try to kill Alan Wake. Nope. Alright, so why... What is their motive? Acting on Scratch's orders? Or here. Mm, can't use it. Alright. Oh, hold on. Was it in the watery? No. Nah. Stop crying! I'm almost done. I'm just gonna... I gotta find a save. And then I probably gotta go. Because I gotta do things... Uh, because... Um, I'll worry about these rhymes later. I have to... Um, I have to be out of the house. Shusband's picking me up. And then we're heading over to the hospital. So... Crossing is not good for you. And hurry is not an honor. This place is wrecked. This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? The Sea of Night. To drink from the cup of the wise one for wisdom to be a seer, I gave up my eye and the light of the moon to shine and see. To many worlds, to madness and beyond. Are these lyrics? Across the dark dreaming sea, the branching paths of the tree, I gave up my eyes so many times. We have lived and died and been reborn. We have met here before, and we'll keep on meeting still. Where did I put the eye? Before time, I gave it to Mir Mimur. Mimur? To drink from the well of wisdom, the cauldron. 1976, I took it out myself to see, drink the moonshine. 1988, he who stands on the threshold took it from me. Time will come again to be rid again. This is some weird shit. Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? <laughs> He's in no shape to talk. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? 
These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? Okay. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> you said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. All right, all right. Um... Okay, so this is why Wake makes the clicker. Can he be trusted with the power to change reality? Can anyone? I don't know. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? I wouldn't. Not sure I have a choice. 
All right, I know I'm trying, Gabby. I'm just trying to get through this so I can find a save. Poor Tor in his room. Odin seems really worried about his brother. I should see if Tor's in his room. Hmm. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. All right, that's for later. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, what's this? That woman in the painting looks like mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? I don't even know anymore. I don't. Excuse me, miss. But you don't see me barging into your room <laughs> while so you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? Sorry. Not. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. Sorry. All right, where is there a freaking... Um... Point of interest. There has got to be a save somewhere. All right, let's see. Dinner in the crock pot? You probably would. Oh, there's another manuscript. Saga. Saga had slid into a nightmare, a growing amount of evidence that her daughter was dead. Saga couldn't accept that. Wake said it could be undone, but Wake was gone, in custody of the Federal Bureau of Control. Casey, her only ally, was gone too. She was alone. Agent Estevez had pulled rank on her, stonewalled her, shut her out of her own case. Saga refused to give up. She needed answers. Tor and Odin Anderson would have some. A family visit, then. No one could blame her for that. Saga was trapped in a horror story. It was manifesting itself around her like the darkness of a mental illness, pushing her deeper and deeper. The Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the Old Gods of Asgard fame, for their twilight years... Um, didn't we read this one? Yeah, we did. All right. Um, I don't... Uh, there's gotta be... Do we have to go... How is it you get to points in the game where there are just, like, no saves? I like how I'm just... Oh, I didn't want to do that. I like how I'm walking around a nursing home with a shotgun on my back. Getting in is forbidden. What? For your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand to dance. Sheesh, I didn't see you there. Oh my god, come on. He is judging me. <laughs> I don't know how he snuck up behind me like that, but... Right, that's that old woman's room. Oh, very old. 
I shouldn't interrupt him. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. They go there to enjoy their beer. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, this is ridiculous. I have to, I, I, I don't want to, like, leave. How did hell did he get down here? And then, um, like, quit and then have to do all this over again. I'm just knocking shit over. Norman, put some clothes on. Let's go outside and see if there's anywhere I can go. Wellness center. Do I really have to go all the way back up there to save? Uh, it sounds familiar to me, too. Alright, well, I guess we're running back. This is ridiculous. Okay, I just gotta run up this road, I think. Which way? It's wrong way. I gotta run past the dogs, and yes, I call them dogs. Uh oh. This can't be the right way. What? She won't let me go back! <laughs> no! You guys! Just, <laughs> really, that woman? All right, I can't. I can't stop. The game is forcing me to do a never-ending stream. God. No, not yay. I've got to. I've got to, uh, damn it. I want to go there. I've, I've got to get ready and do some stuff before I got to leave. I don't even know when we're eating dinner. I got to figure this out because we're going to head right out. <sighs> Fuck. This is not good for our diets. Ah, uh, here we go. I had to come all the way in here. All right, we found the save. <laughs>